Hello, my name is Mary Keating Scott. I'm with George K. Baum and Company, and I am going to go over the Wyoming Government Investment Fund, which is a cash management program for Wyoming local governments. As you can see, here is my picture, and George K. Baum and Company is the distribution agent for the Wyoming Government Investment Fund. And in that capacity, we are responsible for marketing the program to Wyoming political subdivisions. I'm located in Cheyenne, and here is my contact information. So, to give you um, an overview, quick overview of the Wyoming Government Investment Fund, it is organized under Wyoming Statute 9-4-831 as a commingled fund of eligible securities. The Wyoming Government Investment Fund is governed by a board of trustees made up of participating members. We can only invest in those securities that are in the Investment of Public Fund statutes, again 9-4-831, and these are the allowable investments for Wyoming political subdivisions. We have a number of investment options that I'm going to go through um, throughout this presentation. Some of those include the Liquid Asset Fund. Uh, this is like your checking account. We offer fixed income investments and we also offer individual managed accounts. The fund is rated triple AM by Standard & Poor's Rating Service and this is the highest rating for a money market fund. The fund seeks to maintain a net asset value of a dollar per share. And this is how we have achieved the AAA rating. So if everyone demanded their money on the same day, we could return a dollar for every dollar that's invested. The primary objectives of the Wyoming Government Investment Fund is number one, and in this order, number one, safety of your principal, number two, liquidity, you want to be able to have access to your funds. And number three, our third objective is yield. Here I'm showing you um, a list of our participants. We have a total of 136 participants, including school districts, cities and towns, counties and county boards, including five library boards, we also have community colleges, and the University of Wyoming has recently joined as a participant. We have special districts and city boards and joint powers boards. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about some of the features of the Wyoming Government Investment Fund. As I said, it is organized exclusively for Wyoming political subdivisions. We do not take money from any other entity from any other state. We are governed by a board of trustees made up of participating mem members. The Wyoming Government Investment Fund is endorsed by the Wyoming School Boards Association and by the Wyoming Association of Municipalities, and this is the only program these two associations endorse. You can have as many accounts as you would like, and interest is segregated by account. The fund pays all expenses, you have the ability to pay vendors directly from your WGIF account to the, a vendor account. You get monthly statements and a daily statement if activity. A number of our participants have their county tax revenue directly deposited into their account with WGIF. And we believe that this may eliminate the use of WGIF, I should say, may eliminate political conflicts and political interest. It's possible that some board members may have conflicts of interest and the use of WGIF can eliminate those conflicts. You have internet access to all of your accounts. And participation offers the advantages of professional management of your investments. By this I mean PFM Asset Management is the investment advisor to the fund and they purchase all of the underlying assets. And this is what they do all day long. They manage about $20 billion of funds in similar programs throughout the United States. So you have professional management of your investments. 
you also have diversification of your investments. You own a proportionate share of all of and each underlying asset in the Wyoming Government Investment Fund. So you counties and library boards have to make a statement in your audit as to how you are addressing diversification of your investments. And participation in the Wyoming Government Investment Fund allows you to say that you are fully diversified. And it also has the advantage of liquidity. You have access to your funds every day. We also think it saves staff time. We provide a competitive market-driven rate of return. And all assets are eligible investments for Wyoming local governments. So we're going to spend just a little bit of time on the various investment options. The liquid asset series, this is like your checking account again. You have access to these funds on a daily basis every minute of every day. It is rated triple AM by Standard & Poor's. There's no minimum deposit withdrawal or balance requirement. It is primarily used for operating purposes, not necessarily longer term investments. The series is maintained to I'm sorry, the series is managed to maintain a net asset value of a dollar per share, and this rating reflects the stability of the principal of all of the underlying assets and the investments. Interest is calculated daily and credited monthly. Because we are rated, the weighted average maturity of all of the investments in the fund cannot exceed 90, 60 days, excuse me, cannot exceed 60 days. It's a short-term cash management program. We can have longer-term investments, but no investment in the series can exceed 13 months in maturity. But overall, all of the investments must have a weighted average maturity of less than 60 days. And the series marks to the market all of its assets each week. By this I mean that each week the investment advisor sends our list of assets to various broker dealers and asks them what they would give for um, all of these assets and the market value cannot deviate from the book value by more than one half of one percent and we have never fallen outside this range since we were formed in 1996. This is the list of um, investments, the portfolio of investments in the liquid asset series as of June 30th, 2014. And the investment advisor delays sending this to us for competitive purposes, but it's pretty representative of uh, the underlying assets that we purchase for the fund. You can see we have repurchase agreements, treasury notes and bonds, federal agency notes and bonds, commercial paper, the majority of the investments on this particular day were in commercial paper, was in commercial paper, and commercial paper is used by major corporations for their short-term cash flow needs. And you would recognize um, these corporations. It might be Caterpillar, General Electric, or Albertsons who issue commercial paper. Uh, certificates of deposit, we have both F Federal Home Loan Bank letter of credit certificates of deposit and FDIC insured certificates of deposit and bankers acceptances and all of these are eligible investments for participants and on this particular day we had 294 million dollars in the liquid asset series from all of our participants. Some of the other investment options are fixed rate investments, a little longer. These might be for funds that you don't need for operating purposes right away. And you have the option of purchasing um, federal agencies, commercial paper. Um, these assets are held in your name by our custodian bank, which is U.S. Bank National Association. The fees um, are no more than 25 basis points or 0.25%. We also can purchase FDIC insured CDs up to $250,000 or U.S. government agencies. We also offer what is called an individual portfolio series. And um, in this situation, a participant would work with the fund's investment advisor to create an investment strategy for an individualized portfolio of investments. 
we would review the participants' budget and cash flow projections and um, look and create a portfolio of investments. An individual portfolio is not for operating funds and it is typically a minimum of 10 to 15 million. So here's a little more information on FDIC insured CDs. We offer competitive rates and flexible maturities and FDIC insurance covers up to $250,000 representing principal and interest per bank. So if you had $250,000 to invest, we would calculate the interest to the maturity date and then uh, reduce the principal amount by that interest so that the total of principal and interest would not exceed $250,000 on the maturity date. So FDIC insurance covers up to $250,000 per bank. So if you were going, if you had a million dollars to invest, we would look at four different banks. So FDIC insurance is backed by the full faith and credit of the United States government. In the box on this page, you can see these were um, FDIC insured CD rates as of September 17th. And uh, these are just representative dates. If you had $200,000 you wanted to invest for 200 days, we can give you a quote on that also. So the 180 days or six months with the maturity of March 16th, 2015 had a net rate of 0.30% and that's after all fees are calculated. The nine month or 270 day CD with a maturity date of June 15th, 2015 had a similar rate of 0.30% and the one year or 365 days with a maturity date of September 17th, 2015 had a net rate of 0.52%. And in recent months, U.S. government agency securities and commercial paper have been, commercial paper rates are, have been lower than CD rates. So on September 17th, this was our total position in all of our investment options. The fund had a daily rate of 0.04% or a gross rate of 0.21%, the difference between the daily rate and the gross rate is how the service providers are paid. So it would cover fees for um, George K. Baum and Company as the distribution agent and PFM Asset Management as the investment advisor and the administrator and other expenses. And all of the service providers are currently waiving 65% of our fees. The seven day average is also 0.04% and the weighted average maturity, which I said could not exceed 60 days, is at 51.77 days. We had $323 million in the liquid asset portion of the fund. On this particular day, we had a net outflow of 1.9 million. We have 20 million in fixed rate program. These are primarily CDs and we have $182 million in the individual portfolio managed accounts for a total position of $526 million. Now I'd like to give you a little more information on our website and, and some of the features of the website. Here is the website. It is www.wgif.org. Um, you can do multiple transactions on the website. You can make purchases or redemptions. You can have you have the ability to enter a transaction to settle into the future. You can view all of your account balances. And as I said, if you have multiple accounts, interest is segregated by each account. You can view the seven day average interest rate information on the website. All of your monthly statements are retained on the website. Um, after you join. You can view the monthly interest on the last business day of the month. If you have more than one account, you can transfer shares between accounts. The website is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and all of the contact information is available on the website. 
So when you open the website, this is um, similar to what you would see. As a participant, we will give you a temporary password and you would provide a username of your preference and then you would change the password to your unique password. And our preference is that anyone that has access to your account from your office would have their own user ID and password. This is um, what you would see as you log on, and you can see there are a number of reports and um, statements and information. Uh, you can click on your balance summary. I won't go through all of these to see your current balance in each of your account, and you can see um, any transactions that you have, on, you have pending or month-to-date transactions. And you can also look at your fixed term holdings. Those would be longer term investments. And under statements, you can see the monthly statements. You can view all of your historical statements online. Um, you can view your daily confirmation. If you've made a transaction, it would send you a daily confirmation. And there's a guide on, guide on how to read your statement. And other information we incorporate is your bank account information. Um, and the holiday schedule is also on file and the account information would include everyone who hit, is authorized by you to undertake transactions or to view information on the website. So I should mention that we have various levels of access. Um, if your assistant, if an assistant um, wanted to be designated as someone who could go online. You can also designate someone as view only. They could look at the statements but not do transactions. So the forms do allow for various levels of um, access. On this page would be, um, it would show transactions such as purchases or redemptions. So if you initiate an ACH purchase by two o'clock, our cutoff for ACHs is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. If you initiate it before 2 o'clock and you're buying shares of the fund, those shares would be would come out of your local bank and would be in the fund account the next morning. Um, with redemptions, the same thing. If you initiate a redemption by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and you're bringing shares, you're selling shares and bringing them back to your bank account that you have provided to us on the, on the application forms. So some of the other tools are, you can change your password if you would like. You can set up a default account. So if you have a number of accounts and you want your general fund account to be the account that, the account that appears first, you can do that online and you can change any of your um, change from your statement being delivered via mail to an electronic delivery also and then we have a number of forms online also so uh, the the website is very user-friendly and we get a lot of very favorable comments on it so I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. It's been my pleasure to have this opportunity to visit with you, and I am more than happy to respond to any calls. If you just have some questions about investments or if you have more questions about the fund, I am more than happy to visit with you, and here is my contact information. Thank you very much.